you know, I guess I'm, what I want to ask is some to, to comment some on our conversation. Mm -hmm. Like it could be comment on me, or it could just be comment on, on like what that was like for you. Because it, it might be helpful to, to viewers, mm -hmm. um, but it's not comments you can usually get from a client. Right. Uh, Anything come to mind? It was refreshing to experience the power of reflections and also kind of just reinforced the powerfulness of them and how beneficial they can be. So often we get, or I should say I, so often I get caught up in my life that I know, even though I'm helping people on a daily basis, sometimes I don't think to look at myself as someone that needs help. That's the, where the reflections really came in, because you didn't tell me anything I didn't already know. Yeah. It was just talking to you and you basically just holding up a mirror and letting me see what it is that's really bothering me. So that was a part of the power of reflections there was you're getting to where knowing that you need to take care of yourself as well. Yeah, I tell you, Michelle, it, 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 I mean, of course, you're a very articulate person as the client. You, know, you can go to places quickly, but I really find that most people can. And I am just continuing to be amazed at like the places the process goes. Like, I wasn't trying to guess where it was going to go when we started. I mostly was impacted by, I think I mostly was impacted by how much this hurts you. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I hadn't tried to guess where it was going to go, I would not have guessed that. You know, that it, that it was an issue around not taking care of yourself. Me neither, and I'm the one that's, you know, it's in my head, and I didn't even think it was going to go there. And because, you know, we know each other outside of this conversation, where I wanted to go was to reassure you about your job search, reassure you about how you're going to do in the field and all that, because, you know, I'm also your advisor. In the right. So, um, but if I had, it would have gotten in the way of going these other places. That's advisor, that's not kind Mm -hmm. I'll tell you those things another time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, another comment. Of course, if I hadn't been in the program, I wouldn't have been able to pick up on this, but um, the way you mirrored me as far as like, you know, when I was down here, you were down here. When I was up here, you were up here. You know, kind of dance type thing. It was very powerful to feel not only that you were with me, but you were emotionally with me. Um, you know, you didn't have the dead stare. <laughs> you weren't like a blank slate, you weren't, uh, you were just right there. And so often I didn't realize I was doing, I was down like that until I saw you, and then I, <laughs> you know, um, and it just made me aware of the kind of the heaviness of it. 
emotions were so weighing so heavily on me. And without having that mirror reflecting, I wouldn't have realized that. And you know me and my work enough to know that I wouldn't, I wasn't doing that on purpose. Oh it's yeah. It's just like it's just. It just happens. It's just what my body does when right. I am affected by what you're going through. Yeah, but I tell you, I've been doing a lot of. Okay, we better stop the cameras in a minute. But I've been doing a lot of research lately on uh, the reading of, of others' research on the neurological basis of empathy and stuff, and it's really kind of messed me up because because <laughs> I was thinking, oh. You're responding to like content empathy and meaning, but not the you know the really feeling part. And I'm like the feeling part's there, and then I realize the feeling in myself. I realize the feeling part was there when I realized I was kind of slumped down in this uncomfortable way. And I'm like, oh, because she is. But at any rate, I wasn't doing it. You knew that, but I wasn't. Oh, I, I was totally like, do that. I do that too. Yeah, yeah, I know you do. My clients sitting cross-legged on the floor, barefoot. I'm right there with them. <laughs> I mean, it's just. Yeah, so, but it was nice to, it really reinforced that whenever I do that, it's very helpful. Yeah. And very, usually very well received, you know what I mean? So, it was, I don't know, it was almost like, have you ever seen two mirrors, one on this side, one on the other side, when you look in one, you see an infinity of, yeah. of the reflection? That's what I kind of feel like this is, because although you're the counselor and I'm the client, I'm also the counselor, and it's almost like that infinity of reflections. It's like you kind of know where the first one is uh -huh. and the second one continues on. So the metaphor about reflections, it makes me think of another one. Years ago, my sister, earlier in my career, we were, and I were talking on the phone one point, and what she asked me was something to the effect of, like, well, well, what do I do every day? And she doesn't, she works in a, a field that's similar in some ways, but not that close to religion. I just said, I, I go to work each day and I plug myself into all of humanity one person at a time. <laughs> something like that. It's fabulous. <laughs> yeah, well, that's kind of, that's great. It's kind of a nice way to think about what we do yeah. for a living, you know. But it made me think of that when you're like, yeah, it's a mirror of this, but then you're on and on and on through reflections. 